Hi guys, this is John here. In today's lecture, I will show you how using these four propellers, we are able to maneuver a drone moving forward, backward, left and right. So I hope the directions are clear. This is forward for me. This is left for me. This is right for me. And this is backward for me. So I hope that we are clear in terms of our directions. So let me first define a few terms for you. The three terms we are going to understand are pitch, roll and yaw. Now, pitch means going front or back. So you are pitching the drone forward or pitching the drone backward. Roll means going left or right. This is roll. And then there is a third definition called yaw. Yaw means to rotate the drone about its axis. So this is a yaw motion. So in today's lecture, I will explain to you how do we pitch the drone. And then following up to this lecture, we will then practically implement using our simulator how to pitch this drone. So let us get started. So a quick revision, if you remember that this motor goes counterclockwise, this goes counterclockwise, this goes clockwise, this goes clockwise. That's from the previous lecture. And we know from our understanding of torque, why that happens. So now let us say, I need my drone to move forward. So let's assume that each of my propellers are at an RPM value of 100. Let's just assume a value of 100, each of them. And now my drone slowly starts flying and it is hovering at this height. Now, let us say I increase the RPM of these two motors from 100 to 200. So what happens is these two motors will start generating more lift because of the RPM as you're aware, more RPM means more lift in this direction. And then what happens if you just keep it the same, the drone will start rotating, keep rotating, keep rotating until it then goes down. Remember what we need to do, we need to move the drone forward or if you remember we said we need to pitch the drone forward in this direction. So what do we do? First, all the four propellers are maintained at the same RPM. Then depending on you want to pitch forward, you increase the RPM of these two guys here so that they generate more lift and that causes your drone to start rotating like this and it will also start moving because there is a thrust in this direction as well. So this starts rotating here. Now if you need to stop this rotating motion because if you don't stop it will keep rotating like this. To stop that you have two options. Number one you reduce the RPM and make all four of them equal again. Remember, you have to make them equal again for this rotation motion to stop. Or you will have to increase the RPM of these two guys to the same value as this so that this rotation motion will stop. So again, I want you to understand this. To move forward, I first need to pitch my drone in this direction for that these two motors need to generate more lift so they start rotating now to stop this rotation i need to make sure that all these four motors are generating the same rpm and to do that i need to make sure that these two motors should be equal to these two so either I increase the RPM of these ones or I reduce. Now the problem here is if you reduce the RPM of these two motors, 
your drone might start going in this direction but also might start going down because the overall thrust the overall impact is come down so you have to maintain a balance so that your drone is pitching forward and is also maintaining the same height now you might ask john what is the right value to do that and that's why i want you to try this in the simulator so that you understand the physics behind this where once you start pitching the drone forward to stop this pitching you have to bring these four propellers at the same rpm and also to maintain the same height you have to understand do you have to increase this or do you have to reduce this now that's an answer you have to give me by trying this in the simulator and i will show you a basic version of that in our practical session but i want you to try and learn this so what we've understood here is how to pitch the drone forward now can you help me and understand how do we pitch this drone backwards here so you might know the answer to that already now if i want to pitch my drone backwards means i first keep all the four propellers at the same rpm and then what i do is i increase the rpm of these two motors here and then what happens is the drone starts rotating in this direction and starts moving this way if i keep the rpm of these two motors more than these two here then what happens as the same in terms of forward is that the drone will keep rotating 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 and then it will fall off to prevent that from happening what we have to do here is we have to make sure that after a certain point when i've achieved my angle and that's also called as the pitch angle when i've achieved my pitch angle and the motion starts i will have to make these four propellers equal again and there again you have two options either i reduce the rpm of these two guys here and make it equal to these two or increase the rpm of these guys here and make it equal to these two guys here so that's again something that i want you to try using the simulator so this we have understood that to pitch we need to increase the rpm up to a certain point and then make them equal and this we will look at using our simulator in the next lecture but i hope that this was clear in terms of pitching the drone forward and backward in the practical session we'll try the same thing using the simulator in the next theory lecture i will show you the concept of roll and then we will understand how we roll the drone in each direction i hope this lecture was clear for you guys now let's go ahead and try this using a simulator i'll see you guys in the next lecture thank you